Law of Signs, part four. All right, last installment of these four videos. And we are left with a word problem here. So let's see if we can figure this out. So here we go. In Paris, Noah and Margot are looking at the Eiffel Tower from a long distance. They are on the same side of the tower and in the same straight line of sight. Noah sights the top of the tower at an angle of elevation of 28 degrees, while Margot sights the top at an angle of 16 degrees. If Noah and Margot are standing 1,700 feet apart, then how tall is the tower to the nearest foot? All right, I'm going to keep decimals for, for most of the way, but at the very end, I'm going to round to the nearest whole foot. Okay? You must show all of your work. If you do Google it, this uh, answer will give you approximately the, the real height of the Eiffel Tower in feet although the French would use the metric system in meters. All right, here we go. So the, the tricky part here is we have to figure out who's who. All right, which one is Noah? Which one is Margot? Now, there's a really good hint here. The angle of elevation is more for Noah. So think about that, guys. Remember, angle of elevation is the number of degrees up from the horizontal. So Noah has to look up farther, which means he has to be closer. So in this case, we're going to have 28 degrees is going to be Noah, all right? Because he's looking up. He's got to tilt his chin up further than Margot does. So with that being said, let's go on the other angle here and label that with 16 degrees, okay? She's looking up 16 degrees. She's farther away. So let's go ahead and put M here for Margot, N for Noah. We are also told that Noah and Margot are 1,700 feet apart. All right, so now, guys, let's put this all together. This is like our other videos, so, so let's try to incorporate this. Now, I did put a little right angle marker down there. So now let's, let's figure out a game plan here. So I'm thinking that we have 1,700 right here, right? And that's part of this sliver of a triangle. Now, this triangle is not a right triangle. So there's a very big hint that we'll be using law of signs for this first example. We have choice to either find this side out here, right? Or we can use it to find this side here. Uh, either one of those I think will work for us because then we're gonna be able to use the right triangle that's attached to the Eiffel Tower a little closer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick one and guys, you can choose a different option. But I'm going to go with, what am I going to go with? I'm going to go with the outermost, right? I'm going to go with this side here. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, the, the variable x there. And now I'm going to use the law of signs. Uh, maybe I'll leave the highlight there just so we remember which triangle we're using. All right. So I'm going to need some more angle measures. After what we had just done in the previous couple examples, I'm going to subtract 180 uh, minus 28 degrees. That's going to leave me with 152, right? Because these are a linear pair. Okay, now I have 152. I also have 16, and I'm going to subtract that from 180. And that's going to leave me with 12 degrees. So this is a really thin little triangle up here, right? 12 degrees. So now let's write and solve a law of sines proportion to find x. All right, so now here we go. 152 is across from x, the biggest side here. And we also have 1,700 across from 12. So guys, this is gonna be a big answer. So let's see what happens. We're gonna have the sine of 152 is to x as the sine of 12 is to 1,700, okay? Now, I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna focus on my equation here. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit, just like I've done in the previous couple videos, uh, just for the sake of time. Okay, so I've skipped ahead a little bit, right? We wrote our law of sines proportion, right? Again, guys, same old steps, right? Cross multiply, divide by sine of 12, use the calculator to round my answer. All right, there we go. So let me go up top here and back to our picture. So now we know that this side here is about 38, 38, whoops. Yeah, it's a little sloppy. 38, 38.66 feet. Okay, so I think we have uh, enough information here to write one more equation and find the height of the Eiffel Tower. Okay, now I'm going to use H for the height of the Eiffel Tower, but I'm going to change my highlight here, right? I am going to actually use the outermost triangle here, right? 
so that I could find the height using just traditional Sokotoa. I have the hypotenuse, I have 16 degrees, and if it helps, you know, then you guys could redraw it, right? So here's what we're kind of given, right? Where we have H, we have 16 degrees, it's the outermost triangle, it's a right triangle. And now we also know that this is 38, 38.66, okay? So I'm gonna have opposite, and I'm gonna have hypotenuse. So this is gonna be a sine equation, should be pretty straightforward, and it should give us our final answer. So I'm gonna have the sine of 16 degrees equals h over 38, 38.66. Again, I'm gonna skip ahead and show you my final steps, but the answer to this will be the height of the Eiffel Tower. Okay, so finally guys, I've skipped ahead again a little bit, right? So I have a traditional Sokotoa sine equation. I'm gonna solve it the way we have been all chapter. I'm gonna get approximately 1,058.077 feet, but in the beginning, they did tell us to round our answer to the nearest whole foot. Okay, so we are finished up here with 1,058 feet tall for the Eiffel Tower.